Hello, good people. It's Rob Lee. I want to leave you with a message for your weekend. We haven't talked enough about the so-called Christian church. We've talked a lot about Babylon, Muslims. We've talked about a lot, but we haven't talked about the Christian church, and it's time that we do so. So this will be the first part in it. The gospel is to be taught and told, not bought and sold. The serpents have infiltrated the church with false doctrine and false teachers. It's about lies and deception. The corruption of the church is so complete, the modern church is one of the most dangerous buildings on this earth. Modern church doors are open, and many sincere people come in as an initiate, hopeful and hungry for truth. Some join because they are looking to be a part of something and the church is a good place, or so they think to meet like-minded people. And in some cases, you most certainly can meet like-minded people if you are naive and spiritually blinded. For many, when the smoke clears, they see the church in a new light. And as they exit those same doors, they will be broken spiritually, broken financially, confused and wondering, where is Jesus? You see, they could not find Jesus because Jesus was not in this so-called church. It's What you're looking at is a satanic cathedral. And the doors lead to the house of whom we call the dragon, the serpent, and all his followers. It is the house of the devil who we also call the destroyer, and that is what he is doing. These devils will murder, hurt, steal, and lie, and they will seek you out as a wild animal. This stalks his prey. They look for the weak. They look for the ones who are spiritually weak and spiritually stunted. They look for the needy. They know your weaknesses. They hide themselves behind smiles and handshakes. They appeal to you because you, you desire to be a part of something. And there comes a time in most, people li- in most people's lives when they want to learn about themselves, this life, and is God real? This is what most, this happens to almost everybody. And they figure they can find this in a church. This is the devil's sole purpose when you walk into a church is to destroy your faith and your love for Jesus Christ. You see, the desire that you came there with, they want to take that from you. And once they steal your very soul, they will steal from you every dollar that they possibly can. They would steal the air from the lungs of a dying child if it meant more money for them. These demons have been around for countless years. Only the Almighty Father knows how long. In our so-called politically correct world, We have become conditioned, not all of us, but most of us, to become cowards. And as I look across the social landscape of this hellish earth, the biggest cowards have become the so-called Christians, the the building goers, the the building dwellers, the so-called churchgoer. Not only are they the biggest cowards, but they have reached the status of the most gullible and naive people walking this earth bar none. I firmly believe that true Christianity is the only way, however, The people in these buildings who are called churches are not followers of Jesus Christ. These so-called Christians follow some of the most sadistic and vile monsters walking this earth in the form of pastors, bishops, and priests. Yes, folks, even the vilest of creatures can become pretend saints for an hour or two, given the right skills and absolute control over their stage. Most importantly is that we must understand this. These devils are absolutely nothing without naive, ignorant, and lustful people who choose to follow them instead of the one true creator. Many demonic agents, they know how to speak the part, sing the part, worship the part, and crowd the part. These people are professional actors. Make no mistakes about it. That's what they are. They are actors. They know how to play their part, and they invent new gimmicks and movements along the way. They do it all with polished skill, yet all the while, after each show, These same devils will return to their lives lives of unrepentant hate, murder, fornication, deceit, drunkenness, covetousness, lies, adultery, sorcery, and hate that knows no bounds for our King and our Savior, Jesus the Christ. Through modern technology, they perform for you now 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, and 365 days a year. These devils in flesh suits are now in your life every second of every day on Babylonian Tell Evil Vision. However, the weekly masterpiece theater is the Sunday morning show. That's the, that's, that is the masterpiece theater. Remember that acting is pretending, and if a certain devil is good enough at it, he knows that he can convince a naive churchgoer of almost anything. And this is the key. You see, it's a form of hypnosis. The victims of the demonic illusionists do not know the Almighty Father nor do they know who the only begotten Son is. They do not know the Holy Word. They cannot hear. 
So the day will come when they will feel more than enough pain to make up for the lack of hearing. It hurts me to know that many of these people will have to suffer for their ignorance and their desire for temporary pleasure. Discernment is a rare and precious gift, people. Now, I am hard, and I haven't been anywhere near as hard as what you're going to see in the future on churchgoers and building dwellers because they had the truth, and they gave it away, and they disrespected it on a scale that I cannot put into words. In, the, in these last days, people are going to be seduced by their own lust and turn away from the truth. Ask your father through his precious son to give you his discernment. If you are his child, he will come to you and you will know it. Be strong, be patient, and do not give up if the father does not answer right away. We are not the creator people. We are the created. Humble yourself before your father. Express your sins and talk to your father. He knows you far better than you know yourself. Get yourself a 1611 King James Bible and read. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if the cover is falling off of it, people. It, do, it does not matter. Pray, knock, and keep knocking. And you will weep when your father has Jesus Christ open the door for you. Lastly, stay away and out of all Catholic, Protestant, and Evangelical, and all 501c3 churches. You cannot walk with Jesus the Christ while you are holding the hands of devils in a serpent church. I want you to remember this as we go away. It is a script, a strategy, a disguise, a manipulation, a goal, a ploy, a deception, a gimmick, a scheme, a maneuver, an act, and it is you who will pay for following these fallen devils. Enjoy your weekend, and may the Almighty Father bless you immensely. In the name of his precious Son, Jesus the Christ. Hallelujah.